is he there in jaguar jaguar also he is there now we will have a doubt sir is this the right way to say that he is in the commode remember vedam says he is there everywhere but his presence is not smeared with the doshams of that vastu see when you brush he is there in that commode he is there in that brush but what is that which is troubling you to compare your brush with the lot the dirt he is not there in the dirt so he is there everywhere without the taint or a blemish in him atyatishtha dashangulam now coming to this purusha the second mantra says purusha evedagum sarvam yad bhutam yachcha bhavyam उतामृतत्शान यदन्नेति पुष दिस्पुष एव परमुष इदम इदम अगेन बी वेरी केरफुल वैल नोटिंग दीस् वर्ड्स इदम इदम मीन वर्तमान प्रेसेंटेन्स नौ यदूत पास्ट यव्यम इन दूचर सो ही इज देर इन ऑल थ्री पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम correct past present future we are also there in past present future just that we don't know till when that future will last correct you are able to understand see whatever i have spoken now in the next second will become past correct so there is a future that is why all our acharyas have opined present is the only instable point of time past and future are very stable you have a past it will be big long past you have a very long future present is only that second it is very instable right it's not that stable because whatever i just spoke 2 seconds back has become past now correct so that is why there is a question in shastram here we say time is operative correct time is operative in 15 more minutes i'll finish that is why time is operative right if i continue after 9 pm then slowly people will go by the time i turn here four will go from that side i turn here four will go from this side and that too if you are sitting in the first few rows you will have a problem you have to cross so many people and go so time is operative here let us say our jeevaatma gets moksham and goes to vaikuntham let us keep ourselves happy we are going to vaikuntham is time operative there is time operative there no you cannot say time is not operative time is operative but you won't feel time i'll tell you why because how do we understand time we go to a function we see some person whom who is known to us you i think, I think age is catching up right you tell that person it's a very harsh comment to make but you are still telling that person that person takes it with a smile they have listened to many lectures of purusha suktam so that person is taking it not even with salt he is taking with sugar itself he knows that any one day we all have to die so age is catching up you don't look your age you know that is another opposite thing that person will feel so happy all the money spent has worked <laughs> you don't look your age at all then that person will be made happy so ultimately we never want to see the future we want to remain in the past and our present should remain like our past that is why we are doing all these treatments we don't want the future to catch up on us whereas in shri vaikuntham the lord will not age he is called bhanu who the one who never ages only if a person ages or if a vastu changes you will know the time see for example you have cooked something and uh, the person who is supposed to eat hasn't come then you'll come and say see i cooked at 4 in the morning i don't think it will be good now that will not happen to any of the possessions of the lord says shastram in brahma sutram there is a vicharam if he sports tulasi mala it will look as fresh as when it was plucked it will not change when the tulasi doesn't change when he doesn't change even if the clock is moving you will not look at the clock so brahma sutram says there is time there as well but it doesn't become operational in nature now let's come back to prithvi now we are let's come back from vaikuntham to our dumlur 
ಪುರುಷ ಏವೇದಗುಂ ಸರ್ವಂ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಪುರುಷ ಹೂ ಸ್ಟೋಲ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಮಂತ್ರ ಪುರುಷ ಏವ ಇದಂ ಸರ್ವಂ ದ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಯದ್ ಭೂತಂ ದ ಪಾಸ್ಟ್ ಎಚ್ಚ ಭವ್ಯಂ ಹಿ ಲಾಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫ್ಯೂಚರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ನೌ ವೇರ್ ಕೆನ್ ವಿ ಸೀ ದಿಸ್ ಸರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ನಾಮ ಆಫ್ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಸಹಸ್ರನಾಮ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಸಹಸ್ರನಾಮ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ನಾಮ ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ ಭೂತ ಭವ್ಯ ಭವತ್ ಪ್ರಭು ಯು ಗೆಟ್ ಪ್ರಭು ರೈಟ್ ನಾಟ್ ಕಲ್ಯಾಣ್ ಜ್ಯುವೆಲ್ಲರ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರಭು so this prabhu is there in the past present and future bhuta bhavya bhavat prabhu so sahasranamam is an essence of purusha sukta now how do we understand this sir for this there is one instance that i could remember there was one couple called prishni and sutapas they were a couple prishni and sutapas did not have children for very long time they prayed to the lord the lord appeared this prishni and sutapas asked a boon oh god paramatma like you we want a son and they did naraval to that those of you who are used to carnatic music will know repeating that line all our heroes said it i i i i like you that i i i i that is called naraval so this couple said we want a son like you we want a son like you we want a son like you in the court they will call three times they don't ask me if you have gone to a court i have not gone in the movies i have seen they will call the name thrice usha 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 has to come so likewise three times this couple said that is when the lord said see there are two problems here you wanted a son for this janma but you have said thrice so three in three janmas you will have a child and who is that child you have made a problem here the lord said you said i want a son like you you can never clone paramatma you can never make never make a dolly that sheep out of him he is only one there is no second to him so he said there is nothing like me if i choose to be born it is me who has to be born so i choose to be born to you as a child thrice because i have to fructify what you have asked so for prishni and sutapas he was born as prishni garbha the same couple became another couple in the next janma called aditi and kashyapa and he was born as vamana and the same couple became devaki and vasudeva he was born as krishna or vasudeva i told this in one place i thought they will have some different questions they had sir same couple they will repeat is it sir <laughs> they have their own personal problems they are of the thought that we can get rid of the person in this janma and you're saying next two janmas also it will come there is one vachanam in shastram that the same couples will also repeat fitrat bale badlegi kya wo wo nahi badlegi if you have been fighting in this janma you will continue yel yel viravikkum undannodu so now let's get back to the point now the lord chose to be born in every janma there is one small hitch here in sthala puranam it is said that brahma gave the aradhya devata to prishni and sutapas so prishni and sutapas were worshiping one lord eventually by the grace of paramatma they had a son called prishni garbha and this particular deity this particular divya mangala vigraham shifted places and went to a family in which the same couple were born as aditi and kashyapa so while they had a son called as vamana this murti was being worshiped again later in many janmas later they were born as devaki and vasudeva krishna was born and that point in time also this murti was worshiped and that murti is the murti you see in guruvayur so that lord in guruvayur paramatma that purusha has been worshiped in the past present future which means he has been worshiped in three different points in time now thereby it is my abhiprayam abhiprayam means my opinion that in the vedas this particular mantra denotes guruva yurappan yad bhutam yachabhavyam is a line that denotes guruva yurappan 
for first mantra which deity did i say varadaraja of kanchipuram correct now i am saying guruvayur now there will be a problem here now even if you don't have a problem when we put it on youtube they will have a problem they will say sir guruvayur and kanchi came much later vedas came first right then why are you using a later example for that first you are getting the problem here now in that imam pasand mango <laughs> let's go back to imam pasand if i have imam pasand mango i take one mango generally how many seeds will it have so this imam pasand mango has one seed how many mangoes are there inside that one seed in infinite right because if i plant that particular seed it will give rise to a sapling and then a tree and then it will bear mangoes every summer season thousands in number so one mango fruit will have only one seed but that one seed will have many mangoes within it similarly even if these temples came much later after the vedic times when the vedacharyas would have invoked and perceived these mantras they would have thought about the future temples and also written now you may wonder sir this is all your interpretation sir aisa kuch nahi ho sakta ab thoda zyada leke ja rahe ho aisa nahi ho sakta i'll tell you there is a reference in rigvedam there is a mantra which says arai kaane vikate girim gachcha sadanve shirim bitasya chebishtve chatayamasi this is a rig in the rigvedam which says that oh man if you want to get rid of your sins walk towards that hill which has been blessed by the one who has shri on his heart shirim bitasya chebishtve chatayamasi the commentator says it is tirumala so walk towards that hill so now you may ask was tirumala there it was there or was not there is not the problem the rishis would have see when nostradamus said 700 years back there will be two birds that will hit two stands we immediately said what gate prophecy nostradamus can do prophecy rishis can't do prophecy this is what is called wokism you wanted the definition right when nostradamus with a long nose like emmanuel macron does the prophecy it is believable when our rishi who doesn't use fair and lovely does it it is not believable this is what is called vokas the rishis would have had all these kshetrams in their mind and would have written so sahasra shirsha purusha sahasraksha sahasra pat sabhumim vishvato vritva atyatishthad dashangulam conveys the thought that paramatma the purusha the narayana has thousands and thousands of eyes which means he is a witness to all our activities he has got thousands and thousands of legs which means he travels with us everywhere immaterial of whether we want him next to us or not and he has got thousands of faces which indicates that he is the substratum the aadhara vastu for all these things where is he he has pervaded the universe atyatishthad dashangulam where is that purusha when is he there first we have told place first is place see we have got to, to use two coordinates first if somebody says did you come to the lecture then they'll ask when did it happen correct then they will ask where did it happen when where so first we have told where now when when is time that is why we say purusha yevedagum sarvam yad bhutam yachcha bhavyam the one who is there in the past present and future next line i will this line is very important ut amritatvasy ishanah yat annena adhirohati this is the second line amritatvasy ishanah what does amritatvasy ishanah mean amritatvasy ishanah here he says amritatvasya maranasya dharmasya ishanah mukti rishah the one who gives moksham is called as amritatvasya ishanah the one who never makes us ensures that we don't have next birth see in sanatana dharma again which is very special to sanatana dharma and not found in the western religions is the concept of rebirth 
all our acharyas and puranas will always focus on rebirth jada bharata you know jada bharata charitram first he was he um, uh, he was born as bharata to rishabhanata then he became the deer from deer he became jada so this jada bharata charitram says that you will always have rebirth if you look at all, see dhruva charitram i spoke about dhruva today now dhruva was admonished by his stepmother what was her name suruchi now he has a question to narada maharshi he asks in vishnu puranam sir why did i have to undergo sir so many of them have stepmothers but no stepmother is so as cruel as my stepmother why did i have to undergo this that is when narada says you were a great boy in your previous birth you were serving your parents you acquainted you came in acquaintance with a rajakumara looking at his riches you thought what if i also had riches that is why you have riches because of your greed you had the stepmother you wanted riches you had riches because of that greed you have got a stepmother so all our puranas focus in that very concept that whatever we are today is a big residue of our past whatever we are today is a residue of our past now there will be another pertinent question everybody will ask even i have asked this question when we undergo lot of problems we ask sir isn't this a fair isn't this an unfair rule sir whatever i do in this janma shouldn't i undergo problems in the same janma why should i carry that in the next janma correct question is correct ah. remember you will always ask this question only when you have problems not when you are happy see when you are happy why sir if some why should i enjoy now sir whatever in my previous janma i should have experienced it there then and there we will never ask at that point in time only when we have problems but in maths we have carry over right 19 plus 14 when you take units place 9 plus 4 13 so you have to keep three down and one top so sanatana dharma is of the complete belief now again there will be some great authors whom you'll all buy in crossword crossroad everywhere you'll buy what will that person say in the vedic times there was no concept of rebirth there used to be never a concept of temples temples were a later concept in the vedic times people were different now when you see first of all we have not read the vedas and that and we don't know what material that person has read only if we have read we will know what he has read so we will go sit in that lecture or uh, we'll come and buy that book that person will say it's 50% offer outside we'll buy 10 books gift to, to nine other people spoil them also <laughs> our dharma is that paropakaram huh? now remember when i said that that mango seed has 1000 mangoes does it literally have 1000 mangoes what does it mean it has the potential to give rise to 1000 mangoes similarly the vedic mantras have the potential to say that there were temples in those days it doesn't have to directly say see if you are looking for literally everything to be described then ramayana doesn't say that rama brushed <laughs> there is not one shloka in the 24000 shlokas which says rama brushed can we conclude that rama did not brush his teeth at all remember shastram doesn't say take bath no where it says take bath no where it says eat no where it says eat because these two activities it doesn't focus where does shastram come it says one line snatva bhunjita after bath eat it doesn't say eat it doesn't say take bath it says after because it will always address the problem areas it will never say what is obvious does see will someone say i will not eat vedas have not told anywhere to eat so i will not eat whether vedas have said or not we eat so vedam will not say what is obvious but where is the problem we we have so what if i eat without taking bath that is where vedam will interject and say after bathing eat remember 
so same way vedam won't say everywhere this is the temple built in our alsur which is of a chola temple someshwara temple it will not say but it will always seed in the ideas for temple building same way here amritatvasya ishanaha the one who is the lord for moksham that is why i said sanatana dharma believes in rebirth very clearly it believes all matacharyas whether you are a shankara follower ramanuja follower madhva follower chaitanya follower shiva agamam vaishnava agamam wherever you touch because if i don't address all these acharyas then you know in tamil nadu somebody will take this part see now i am in the radar now they will take 10 seconds from this lecture and they will let us circulate see he talks only about ramanuja which means that shaivam was a different religion it came from mesopotamia vaishnavam came from tasmania they are on tasmak that is a different thing and they will conclude so all the philosophies all the schools of philosophy and theology in sanatana dharma have to subscribe to purva janma else it is redundant so the only way to get rid of this vicious circle of janmam maranam janmam maranam is when that purusha intervenes that is why that state of never being born again is moksham who gives that moksham ut amritatvasya ishanaha ishanaha the one who gives moksham yat annena adhirohati now comes a big puzzle here puzzle in sanskritam means prahelika in 7 minutes i'll finish this yat annena adhirohati what is annam rice sir basumati you don't you know about basumati huh? annam 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 means at tum yogyam iti annam whatever is fit to be consumed is called annam attum yogyam annam attum means consumable attum yogyam whatever is qualified to be consumed is called annam correct in vasant vihar in delhi i gave one saptah bhagavatam in english i told krishna I had curd rice immediately that audience got extremely upset they said sabhi theek tha sir aap to madrasi ho now so how will i tell i am from namma bengaluru you know he so he said aap madrasi ho isliye you are telling krishna had curd rice he could have had chapati also right he could have had chapati dal bati churma kuch bhi kha sakte the तंदूरी कुछ भी खा सकते थे ही कुड हैव हैड बट टेक्निकली ही कुड नॉट हैव हैड बिकॉज भागवतम से सी हैड ओनली कर्ड राइस बिभ्रद्वेणु जठर पठय श्रृंग वेत्ये च कक्षे वामे पाण मसृल कबलम तत्फला अंग्युषु से भागवतम इन द लेफ्ट हैंड ही हैड कर्ड राइस बॉल राइट हैंड ही हैड सो vegetable as a pickle clearly pickle is also been mentioned i don't know whether it is gonkura whatever it is some pickle is mentioned so it says pickle was in his right hand curd rice was in his left hand clearly bhagavatam says masrula kabalam masrula kabalam means mashed rice with curd it says now immediately that person asked do you mean to say that person asked that wheat was not there huh i said it was there because in chamakam we have one mantram which says goduma chame goduma is there but goduma necessarily doesn't have to be made into chapati correct because technically orthodox people used to think twice before having chapati i'll tell you why because like annam unlike annam it is not easy to have chapati with one hand you have to do narasimha avataram there <laughs> sata patala bhishane you have to tear open the chapati so for that they have to use their left hand correct so they used to think twice nothing to do with wheat wheat may what is that calorific value glycemic value all that will be better that is not the problem now so now coming back to annam one meaning for annam is attum yogyam annam what am you should remember these definitions next class i will ask uh, 
first which is consumable second aticha atyacha this is the second meaning remember this aticha atyacha means whatever if you consume whatever if you consume within a certain limit you can consume it beyond a certain limit that will consume you is called annam see ayurvedam says when to stop it says when you are eating when to stop with that food you have to stop at that place where you feel it is very good you have to stop it seems because next step is what put some more <laughs> that before that more you have to stop then that annam will consume you so he says yadanne nati rohati the one who grows through annam what does it mean it means he grants us moksham only when we think him as annam what does it mean sir how can we consume the lord there is one sentence by nammalvar unnum shorum parugum neer tinnum vetrilayum ellam kannan for the great devotees of krishna krishna is their water krishna is their food krishna is the betel leaf with that churnam with which they chew so essentially the lord should be the one whom you consume which means you have to keep telling his namam in your mouth so that is why if you traditionally have observed your grandmothers great grandmothers they would never let go a moment in idol they will keep doing some activity with the recitation in their mouth because for them the name of the lord becomes annam so when the lord's name becomes annam then you get amritatvasya ishanaha you get moksham so the lord who stay is the aadharam like the face the one who is a witness the one who travels with you everywhere is told in the first mantram sahasra shirsha purushah sahasraksha sahasrapat sabhumim vishvato vritva atyatishthad dashangulam which divya desham did i cover in the first mantram kanchi varadaraja second yad bhutam we are now coming to time first we have covered space yad bhutam yacha bhavyam now he is there in all points in time which divya desham did i cover guru vayur next line he says uta amritatvasya ishanah yadanne nati rohati the one who is the one to be consumed because of his gunas the one who gives moksham so sharanamagum tanadal adaindar kella maranamanal vaigundam kodukkum piran says alvar the one who gives moksham it is in a divya desham called trik kannapuram in tamil nadu so in my opinion this line could be indicative of tirukkannapuram now when you realize you may associate it with udupi with tirumala fine that is the beauty of sanatana dharma if if you think about how dare you think this line tells udupi immediately cut your head no you are allowed to interpret that is the greatness of sanatana dharma so we have covered two mantras out of 18 mantras in 2 hours in this space if i go then we will need about 40 lectures so next lecture is happening on the 7th of january same place sunday between 5 and 7 pm timings because we didn't get it between 5 and 7 pm today we knew it will rain so we took between 7 and 9 see we are all lost at amas so january 7th sunday 5 to 7 pm no where it will be advertised because this room has a certain capacity it can't take over 150 people many of the astikas have had to stand very sorry about that next time we'll try doing some other arrangement many of you can sit here also it, it because to stand for 2 hours is is a task but next lecture now i have a request unlike ramayanam bhagavatam which is a story vedam is not that easy to be covered but you have to make it a point that you attend all these lectures then only you'll understand purusha suktam shri suktam bhu suktam rudram chamakam these are all a treasure trove for us and everybody has this one point sir i've learned but i don't know what is the meaning right now we are telling the meaning then they'll say they no sir that is why i didn't learn at all <laughs> only if i learn i have to learn the meaning 
so don't do that all of you immaterial now somebody will clap uh, will take 10 seconds out of this and he'll say see this is brahmanical patriarchy they will hold one placard everybody is invited anybody is invited open to all anybody can sit and listen please bring people only thing you should know english my english if you know colonial english then that ram that yam dharm that you know, for me it is yama dharma not yam indra i can't say such see you have to understand indian accent english <laughs> then you can come here so please bring i'm sure the forthcoming lectures will be more engaging because the first lecture you have to get accustomed to the vaidika bhasha you have to understand how the pattern is who are the commentators last question five commentators uvata acharya mahidhara acharya sayanacharya bhattabaskara rangaramanujamuni wow five commentators we have covered so we have to travel with all these commentators in the forthcoming lectures by 12 lectures you would have completed diploma in sanskritam trust me thank you kavitarkika simhaya kalyana gunashalini shrimate venkateshaye vedanta gurave namaha dear astika reader i am happy to be authoring a two part book on the ramayana in english The first part is slated for release in the year 2024. The book aims to recreate and retell the Ramayana of Valmiki conforming to the ancient commentaries and other allied literature. To receive notifications of the book release, kindly register with www.deshikadaya.org/books. Namaskaram. Namaskara Mastikas I'm tentatively scheduled to travel to Abu Dhabi and Dubai in the mid February to seven cities in the countries of Australia and New Zealand namely Adelaide Perth Brisbane Sydney Melbourne Auckland and Wellington between the 25th of February and the 25th of March I'm scheduled to travel to Singapore either in the month of April or January and later i'll be rendering discourses in new jersey boston maryland pittsburgh and then in st louis and indianapolis in the month of july i'm sure you would love to share this message with your friends and relatives